Habits by Peach Kit. The tag list is Creator chose not to use archive warnings, Marinette Dupain Chang slash Adrian Agrest, Cat Noir slash Ladybug, Marinette Dupain Chang, Adrian Agrest, Ladybug, Cat Noir, Identity Reveal, or rather it's heavily implied, Soft and Slow, Friendship, They're in Love but They Don't Kiss, it's not that sort of fic, I guess, I'm sorry. Lots of them observing people they care about. Summary. Adrian and Marinette notice little habits in their best friends. It's familiar. Too familiar. Without further ado, please enjoy. Ladybug had habits. Adrian was around her so much that it would be strange if he didn't notice all the things she did unconsciously. When she was thinking about something nice, her face would melt into a smile just from thinking about it. Her hips, her legs would sway when she was happy. When she was expecting something, her eyes would narrow. She would avoid eye contact when it embarrassed. All these actions felt vaguely familiar to Adrian. He'd seen all these things in someone before, but he could never quite place who it was. It bothered him. Adrian had habits. Marinette had been his friend long enough to realize that much, not to mention her embarrassing phase where she had basically socked him. When he was upset, his head would sink, and he'd start twisting a ring on his finger. When he was up to something, his face would contort into a cute, but threatening, mischievous grin. When he was stressed, he'd ruffle a hand through his hair. He would smile softly when content. All of these things were so unbelievably familiar to Marinette, and it bothered her that she could never quite place where she'd seen them before. It was frustrating. She saw it on a quiet night, when she and Kat were meeting up at the end of patrol to talk about their day on some nameless Parisian rooftop. He was twisting his miraculous ring round and round as he looked out at the city of love. You're upset, Marinette observed, watching his gloved fingers work the ring into another rotation. He sighed, letting go of the ring to ruffle his hand through his hair. What's wrong? Cat curled his fingers in his hair, gripping it tight before letting go to fiddle with his ring more as he looked at her. <laughs> my father has been hassling me more and more on my choice of university. This fact that Kat had an overbearing father and was just about to finish high school, like Marinette, was not something new. But every time he talked about it, something tugged at her memory, and she never quite caught it. Does he not approve? she asked, dipping her head to catch his eyes once his gaze fell. He can't approve if I haven't told him. Marinette let out a groan. Cat. He looked over at her and the small spark of his signature mischievous grin pulled at his lips. Ah, but Ladybug, he also can't disapprove if I haven't told him. So what are your plans, she asked, raising a rather skeptical eyebrow. To just disappear without telling your father where? He'll know where, Cat said with a wave of his hand. Just at the very last minute when it's too late to change anyone's mind. Not good, she chided, but he just shrugged. It'll be fine, he said, looking over at her. His smile was soft, content. I'll be fine. Marinette's heart flipped. You? She didn't finish her thought. Kat looked at her, somewhat startled. She leaned back, taking in the sight of his all-too-familiar golden hair and green eyes. The small freckles scattered around his visible skin. A slight gap between his front teeth. A small smile pulled at the corners of her lips. She returned to her normal position, though she scooted a bit closer to him. Never mind. He saw it during a quiet lunch break. Nino and Alia had to stay behind to finish up some project for the broadcasting club they were in, and they insisted that Marinette and Adrian go on ahead. So the two sat in their usual place outside under the large willow tree, shielded from the bright sun and noisy piers. 
Marinette had been more comfortable lately. She made offhand puns to him, leaned closer when talking, let him see a confident and enchanting side of her that he'd only seen on special occasions. That much he'd noticed before. She was eating her sandwich, legs straight in front of her and moving back and forth to a beat only she could hear. Adrian watched the slight tapping of her feet, the content expression on her face as he chewed. You've been... happier lately. His voice came out a little more hesitant than he intended. He twisted the ring on his finger absently. Her eyes traveled down to his hands, and her eyebrows raised. She finished chewing the bite in her mouth, letting the sandwich fall back into its bag. I suppose I have been, she said slowly, watching his expression carefully. Is there a particular reason? She looked at him for a moment more, and her face melted into a soft smile. She looked down at the grass. Adrian felt a tug of something familiar. He thought he almost had it. Why are you embarrassed? I'm not embarrassed, she scoffed, but she still wasn't looking at him. She tucked a lock of hair behind her ear, and he saw the deep blush crossing her cheeks. It's not nice to lie, Adrian said, grinning and nudging her shoulder softly. What's got you all shy and happy? She looked up suddenly, and a confident and mischievous smile pulled at her lips as she cast him a glance. She looked up at the tree then, tapping her finger to her chin and thought. I saw a beautiful rooftop view a couple nights ago, she finally said, and she looked over at him, the smile still on her face. That's it? Adrian asked, a little taken aback. A view? She hummed, picking up her sandwich again and nodding her head. I guess the realization is also the reason, she admitted after a few seconds. Adrian looked over at her. A realization? he asked. She looked over at him, her eyes narrowed. He stared at her, the bright blue eyes and dark hair, though her legs were still swaying happily, the knowing and confident smile pulling at her lips. You're... He trailed off. Yes? He laughed, shaking his head. <laughs> You're something else. She let her smile grow, and she looked away from him, satisfied. Something else, indeed. Hey everyone, thank you so much for listening. Uh, this is my first time recording a fic of any kind. It is also my fic. Hi, I'm Peach Kit. Nice to meet you. You can find me on Tumblr, Twitter, and AO3 at Peach Kit. I just read the first fic I posted on AO3 entitled Habits to you. <laughs> I just read it out loud to you. Thank you so much for listening. Bloopers time. <laughs> That's lame. I shouldn't do that. Hello and welcome to the bloopers reel. Is that lame? I can't tell. Hello and welcome to I mess up a whole lot, aka the bloopers reel. Is there any cool way to introduce a bloopers reel? No, I don't think so. So anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> that was good. I liked that one. Why is this chair so squeaky? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. I don't think it's going to be good. Without further in further, further in do, good. That was good. When he is cute but threatening, mischievous. Mis <laughs> oh, why is there so much spit? When she and Cat were meeting up at the end of a. When she and Cat were meeting up at the end of a. Oh my God! Why? Why? He looked at her, and the small smart, the, sm the small smirk. That's lame. That's lame, and I shouldn't say that. This might have been real bad. Let me be honest. This might be real bad. <laughs> what 
What should I say at the end? I've never had a good thing to say at the end of things.